Hi, this is Mike WA3TTS, and this is sort of a quick part two to my common mode choke video I did a couple weeks ago. This is another one of these uh, 15, 16 millihenry twisted pair uh, Cat 5 chokes. And normally I, I, there's BNC connectors on the other side, and I'm just doing a 50 ohm series test on the uh, on the ground side of the connectors and the ground side of the uh, the wire on that choke. So we come over here and at the bottom of the scale on the on the uh, mic, uh, nano VNA is 137 kilohertz and I get about 40 dB of choking attenuation. And then up at the high end I have it set for 475 kilohertz and it's a little closer to 50. Now if I add some capacitance across the ground side of the uh, two connectors I have a 75 ohm or 74, excuse me, 74 picofarad uh, capacitor across this with a switch, and so we'll switch in a capacitor here, like so. Well, I have to set the, I got to set the, I got to do that. All right, just back together. Okay. So now you can see I've taken the, the 137 kilohertz response down closer to uh, 50 dB. And I've lost about 20 dB at 475 kilohertz uh, as far as choking attenuation goes. But I'm able to move the choke um, where I want it with a little bit of capacitance. And you would think that, you know, 75 puff across... Uh, 15 or 16 millihenry would be very low capacitance, but it turns out there must be some kind of LC series expansion math going on here. And when I'm adding the 75 uh, puff, it's adding it to all the uh, series expansion components for each turn of the, the coil kind of thing is what I'm guessing what's going on here. I haven't really researched this in any depth yet, but I was thinking I would need a lot more capacitance to tune this choke, you know, down in frequency, especially at 137 kilohertz, and it ended up only taking 74 puff to move it. So, you know, uh, what was going on with the tin can shielding thing is I was also tuning uh, that choke with the tin can, sort of similar to how uh, the capacitor in a, a HF vertical uses the outer metal cover as a capacitor around the coil. Well, that's doing the same thing when I was doing it with the tin cans. And um, it wasn't quite so as dramatic uh, of a change, you know, because there wasn't quite as much capacitance involved. So you can tune these chokes with uh, a little bit of capacitance, and that's an interesting thing to play with. I just thought I'd point that out. 7-3 from WA3TTS.